this video will take you through the BEP file or server configuration file or the orange butterfly file in the in the bright builder environment so what the BEP file is is a server configuration It's the bright server configuration that we can set up from within bright builder it has a tree structure like the BSP file and it consists of the sync points the scripts the mappings and the tables Overall, the main function of the BEP file is to define the data sources that Bright Server can read to and read, read from and write to, and that is defined here in the sync points. A sync point is simply a visual layout of the data flows in and out of the Bright Server. So what I have in my palette here are Bright Forms uh, blue butterfly tables that represent the objects that are in the field. And I can connect these blue butterfly objects up with files and databases. So here I have a file that is being the bright server is configured to read from and then to send this data in the direction of this arrow to the field. So this is a this is a data download from file where the fields can request the, the, the field devices can request and receive data from this file. Turning that around, I might have a I might have a table, sorry, I might have a field data object that I want to join up and get data sent to me from from the field and store that in the, into into the database. So this is the classical simplest simplest ways of visualizing it. The 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 sync point layout itself is is free form. You can have as many of these sync points as you like, just to for clarity and for, so that you can have the layout just the way you want. I may have all my reads on one sync point. I may have all my writes on another sync point. It's really up to you to visualize it the way that you like. So now we'll just take a little bit more of a detailed look at these individual objects and how they are configured. If I click on select on the file object then its properties become available to me in the properties window here and the basic configuration for a file other is the sets option so here what I have is um, I can add and I can add and delete new sets I have one set for every think of a set as a as a data as a data object that I'm that I'm connected to for this particular file object and really what this is doing is this mapping it's saying, okay, I want to take this file in this file name here, and this is a file name that's relative to the server that the server can read. And I want to, I need to use a file mapping to get my fields for that mapping from the file uh, fields into the table fields, and then this table will be sent to sent to the client. So. What that also gives me a chance to do here is to talk about tables. Tables are very similar to, in fact, they're identical to what you have in the BEP table definitions. Because these are the, these are the table definitions that basically the PDA application needs to be able to understand. And one thing, one handy thing that we can do between the BEP, if I have them both open in the same um, Bright Builder environment, if I just make a four field table here I can copy and paste to ensure that I have the same definitions in both so in the sets I had the I had the mapping one also being used so I have a file name which table I'm reading from and the mapping the mapping is required for the files where I'm saying okay I'm going to be reading a file CSV format with the following escape characters and I'm going to map the fields in this order so I can change the order I can move them up and down with this primary key mapping these data types so I'm basically configuring bright server saying hey this is how you're going to read this file and I've actually got this file in my in my documents area this file is being read to here so what I'll do is run this demonstration 
I'll just delete these items that I'm not using. Get back to scratch. And if I run, so I'm just going to run this bright server configuration. And then I've got my PDA application here. And if I hit synchronize, now at this point of synchronization, bright server is being asked for data from from that from that file. So bright server is going and reading this file when this happens. So if I go ahead and change, so I'll demonstrate that these in form two, I've got these. Um, these records being read and they now being stored on, on the PDA. If I go ahead and change his name to Smith as well, and then I go back and synchronize. So Joe Citizen is the second record. Hit synchronize. Bryce server detected a change. I'm getting one change record received. I back to, go back to field two and it's changed his name. The other um, item to, to look at in detail here is the database. Simply what I'm doing with the database, I'm just connecting to, I'm directly connecting to one of these databases. Um, if I just select uh, Microsoft, then I'll just plug in the database name and my SQL credentials and I'm connecting to a, to a database. And lastly, uh, I do also need to mention we have the ability to have completely customized user-defined sync points courtesy of JavaScript. This is a very powerful advanced feature that will be covered in its own separate tutorial but I'll just mention them now for, for completeness of the overview. Scripts have their own entry in the in the tree and there are many, of, many different types of scripts. I've got um, sync read, sync write as data endpoints I can also have a script running as it running as a job, and that will be on a schedule. And I can even line up um, on online, just in time, on demand uh, script data endpoints for online queries and RPC calls. The mappings which we touched on for the file um, endpoint are also used, I'm going to create another mapping here, they're also used for queries. And the, the important time that, that most of the time I don't need to use a query, I don't need to use a mapping for a query because it will just be straight through. For example, if I have a database here and I'll bring back my table 2, say I've got a simple two, two, two fields, one primary key, um, and in my in my database in my table and then I'm going to tie this this client table to, t to table 2 and make it a downloadable downloading entry now in this case if I've got the if my fields are the same in both just field 1 field 2 then a mapping is unnecessary a mapping is only called for and I and I have and I use it in my sets. I only need to need to add add table two with a mapping in the case where the fields are not identical or they're out of they're in a different order, for example. By far most of the time I'll be able to read and write to a database without using the mappings and I can just leave my sets field empty there. This concludes the overview of the BEP file server configuration within the Bright Builder environment. Be sure to check out more videos on our brightexpress.com website.